Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another, of course, swatch video. And today's swatch video is gonna be about Dose of Colors. So if you don't know, Dose of Colors has a Stay Glossy a lip gloss collection. There are 20 shades in that collection. And they recently released eight more shades of the Stay Glossy glosses and I purchased all eight of them. So I have here eight of them. And the packaging is really nice. I have, yikes. So I have four here and then I have the other four right here. So I have eight of the Stay Glossy lip glosses from Dose of Colors. So like I said, there are 20 of these lip glosses. If you check the site, I actually got these I don't remember where I bought it from. Was it Ulta? Oh no, I actually bought it from the Dose of Colors uh, website and these go for $17 each. I got the shades Almond Butter, Don't Be Chai, Hot Cocoa, Just Be Cause. No, Just Because. B-A-E, Because. Macchiato, Make You Blush, That's Cool, and Tough Cookie. So those are the eight new shades that they came out with. And let's just jump right into the swatches.
So what are my thoughts on these glasses? Now, do you need to go out and purchase all of the newer shades from the Stay Glossy collection? Absolutely not. Well, I've been wearing these glasses for like a few days um, before I made this video just to get like a well-rounded feel of these glasses through different situations and activities. And of course, to give you guys a, um, a wholesome opinion about how I think they performed. And um, as far as performance, I have to say that the quality is great. The quality is there. These lip glosses they don't feel heavy on my lips compared to other glosses. Um, you can usually tell right away when a lip gloss is goopy and thick. But these, I did not get that feeling from it. And like I've mentioned time and time again, all lip glosses will have some degree of stickiness to them. Some are just going to be more sticky than others depending on how depending on the consistency of the, the gloss and how thick it is. So you're not gonna find that magic gloss that just repels everything because that doesn't exist as far as I know. And if you know about it and you're holding out on me, you'll be sorry because if there is one that exists, I want to know. Just drop it in the comment section below. Cause yeah, I don't wanna be missing out on that if it's somewhere in this world. Um, yeah, so for the formula, I definitely give it an A. And these glosses are also scented. They smell like cake, like cookies, like fruit. Um, they just smell like a bakery. And I like that. That's not for everyone. Most, some people are sensitive to scents. It doesn't bother me. As long as it's a pleasant smell, I can go along with the flow. But these definitely do smell like a bakery, a full-blown bakery, but not in like an overpowering way, just subtle cakey fruity scents that just make you go whenever you get a whiff of it. But it's not overpowering at all, giving me a headache type of smell. It's not that, it's very subtle. As far as the pigment, some of these were not that pigmented, I think they are supposed to give you more of a high gloss finish hence the name stay glossy more than a pigmented finish these are great for more of a natural beat type of look so if you're someone who just wants uh, a gloss to, to finish your to finish your face these are perfect for that some of the colors yeah were definitely not as pigmented as others but with that said, these will be perfect to layer over lipsticks. They will be perfect for toppers. And that's more likely, that's more likely the area where I would be using them. Um, but then again, I mostly wear just a natural beat. I don't really do heavy glam makeup. So I will also use them just as a gloss. And keep in mind, I just used one um, layer of these, one pump. I did not have to put it back in the tube to get more product. I also like that the doe foot applicator is like in the shape of a paddle. So that holds enough product for you to do one application. I did not have to go back in that tube and get any more product. So. You can definitely layer it up if you'd like, but I was okay with just one layer of it. Some of the colors, uh, you can definitely find dupes for them. These are not like, oh my gosh, I've never seen these colors before. I only got that with two of them because I just haven't seen them in my collection or I know I don't have them in my personal collection. And that is Macchiato. This one. This is a pretty unique color. I don't have anything like this in my collection, so I really like that. I also like Don't Be Chai. Oh, this is actually hot cocoa. Nope. I also liked um, Don't Be Chai. I don't think I have any. I'm pretty sure I probably do have something that resembles Don't Be Chai, but I also found it to be a little uh, unique. These two, which are hot cocoa and tough cookie. Tough cookie is what I'm wearing right now. 
and hot cocoa I love the way this look on me this one actually gave a little bit more compliment to my skin tone um, and it looked the most pigmented out of all of them to me and that's the reason why I liked it and the others they were more of a I would say sheer nude finish that you can definitely find for cheaper um, with other with more affordable brands like ColourPop or Ulta you definitely don't have to spend $17 for one of these because I know that there are dupes out there that exists for Meiji blush which is this one for almond butter and for just because there are colors you can find that definitely resemble these so you don't necessarily have to get them I mean at the end of the day you make your decision about what you want to do but there are definitely more affordable dupes for those more sheer colors but other than that these glosses are great you can use it for a gloss on its own or you can use it as a topper whichever way satisfies you there is no right or wrong way to use these lip glosses it's just all about preference that's all i got for you guys if you guys like this video make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more swatch videos like this from me and lastly don't forget to click that notification bell because that's the only way when you know that I post a video. That's the only way. It's I didn't make the rules, YouTube did. So if you want to know when I post, make sure you click that notification bell. And with that said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next Swatch video. Bye!